About a week ago, I watched Ryan Reynolds' epic new blockbuster movie, Free Guy, which is based on video games, and I love video games, I play video games every day, but it consumes my life with no signs of stopping. Oh god, save me! When the trailer came out, I, I actually found it quite charming, like, I thought it could represent video games quite accurately. Boy, was it wrong. And when it finally released, after being delayed, the reception was quite positive. So you know what I had to do, I had to watch the movie myself, I had to form my own personal opinion. What's this personal opinion, you ask? It is not a good movie, I, I cannot recommend it to anyone. However, I was at least entertained and it probably helps that I got a free ticket, but I, I just I just can't say it's a good movie and I can't recommend it to anyone. In this video, I actually want to hone in on a specific aspect of the movie, which is the representation of video games. Because for a movie that takes place in a video game, the director and writers seem to know very little about them. And of course, as someone whose favorite medium of entertainment is video games, I noticed there were a lot of issues with the writing. I'm not going to hold back with spoilers by the way, so if you want to watch Free Guy, then stop watching the video right now. But if you have seen Free Guy or you don't care about spoilers, then continue on. However, these spoilers are pretty minor. I guess the first issue we're going to cover is that the director and writers are not familiar with video game culture at all. A moment stuck out to me where a character was called a troll, but they actually don't fit the definition of an internet troll. The guy is an asshole in real life, but we don't see him using the internet or playing any video games. He's not even close to doing a little bit of trolling. I think the most damning evidence that the writers and director didn't know anything about video games is ironically in a video uploaded by IGN titled Jacksepticeye and Dan TDM on what free guy gets right about video games. In the video, Jacksepticeye recounts that he he was asked what Let's Plays were called, like the director didn't know that Let's Plays were called Let's Plays. And it's weird too, because in Free Guy there are a lot of like background details that indicates that the director knows what he's doing. I mean even the writing sometimes, like there was a joke in the movie about how these shoes never went out of stock because video game items can't go out of stock obviously. But in terms of the actual overall impactful plot elements, they do demonstrate that the writers and directors had no idea what they were doing. For for example, in one of the scenes, the main characters have to break into this building to acquire a piece of recorded footage that could expose the creator of the game, but as you should all know, if a video game has a screen recording feature, it's odd for it to save the screen recording in the video game's world rather than just on your device's files. What's even odder is that these video files are in the world as physical items and can be stolen by other players. And the, the idea of glasses giving players their UI is, again, it just doesn't make any sense. And I know there, there had to be a reason for Ryan Reynolds to be recognized and acknowledged by other players by giving him something that only the players have. But Ryan Reynolds breaking free of his repetitive programming should have been enough to garner that attention. Otherwise, it just added the sunglasses mechanic that made no sense for like a video game to have. And there's also the director and writer's understanding of coding. They don't understand coding either, and it shows. There's, a, there's, there's this one joke in the movie where this programmer talks about how he feels like he's an author for coding. And that coding is just like writing a book, but instead of using words, you use ones and zeros. First of all, the ones and zeros are called binary language. And to be fair, I'm going to give this the benefit of a doubt because he was saying it in the context of an interview so he could have been using simpler terms for the normies. What I'm not going to forgive is that binary language isn't used for video game coding. Video game coding usually has its own different languages. You know, it's up to the coder what language they want to use. It will be stored on their computers as binary, but when actually viewed by a person, it will be displayed as the coder's non-binary language of choice. It's, it's a dumb joke and it makes no sense and I'm getting way too upset over it but it's just one of those examples where I was watching the movie and I was like this isn't how it works it's not funny because the writers don't know what they're talking about this is the last scene I'm gonna talk about but this is one scene where Steve from Stranger Things he uses his coding skills to stream the game all over the world <laughs> for everyone to watch this makes absolutely no sense. Futaba and Persona 5 hacking all of Japan just to stream one video makes more sense. And there are so many more examples I could go through, like how if the game moderators can't ban an account, they just go into the game and kill the person they want to perma ban. 
And for, for some reason, that just permabans them. There's also this one moment in the movie where in a mere matter of like minutes, they get like two buildings to just start moving towards each other to squish the, the main, <laughs> the two main characters. I don't, I don't even, how does that work? What? And there's this other moment in the movie where they're like, because Ryan Reynolds' AI has just learned so much, they decide to reset the server to reset Ryan Reynolds. But that makes absolutely no sense. Don't they have to reset the game files? Why Why the server? The server doesn't actually hold the programming for the characters. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it works. The server is just a server. You know, if I reset my Minecraft server, it doesn't mean that my world resets and I lose all my progress. So yeah, Free Guy doesn't know anything about video games or computers or coding or anything. <laughs> Even video game references seem to be pretty shallow, like, oh look, there's Mega Man's gun arm i forgot what it's called the mega buster yeah now i remember now i remember the mega buster it, it, there it is in the game for some reason <laughs> oh look there's a halo vehicle look at that we we know video games because we just took a model and texture from an existing game and plopped it into our movie and weirdly enough the biggest references in the movie were marvel and Star Wars references, which, you know, are obviously not game IPs, so it's really odd for them to be the bigger references, the biggest references. I think if they got the right people on board, Free Guy could have been a really clever movie. Video games have limitations, and you could play around with them. For example, NPCs could access areas that players can't. But instead, we get player characters kissing NPCs when they already established that there is no kissing button! But anyways, those were my thoughts on Free Guy. Uh, what did you think of it? I don't know, this is like a YouTube ending now. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. And if I get one like on this video, I will go watch Shang-Chi, the, the Legend of the Makuan Ten Rings. Just kidding, I'm Asian, I had to see it, and you're gonna get a video on it anyways within the next few weeks. I don't know, maybe, bye. Rose!